Welcome back. In this video, we are going to start working with the Vue.js app. Okay, and the first thing that we are going to do is create our inbox. So, how do we structure our code? Um, let us go to this sublime text, and what I'm going to do is inside components, I will have src components private message okay and inside that i will have my components so this is going to be my first component okay so let me go to my main.js and inside that should be inside components private okay so i have this and then what i need to do is create a route we will call it um inbox pms okay component will be this name We'll keep it same, and then um, yeah, that's about it. I think. Uh, let us do this. All right, and then um, let's just see if this is coming. Inbox PMs we have it we will go to sublime and let us quickly do some basic styling over this no uh, chat page isn't it um i want that header yes so i have this and we will call this you know what uh, let me quickly actually paste the markup because otherwise it will become very difficult but uh, okay let's go step by step no worries um, now <clears throat> we will use stores to you know fetch the uh, data from HTTP request so we'll need to create a store so sorry i'll create a file inside source components private messages and it will be private message store.js now there are a few things which will require i will import view from view okay and then as usual we have constant state which is an object then in this i'll define a few variables by default so i'll need the notifications so it's an array okay i'll need messages received which is going to be an array messages sent again an array then the message object itself which will have subject sorry okay so that takes care of our state so we have notifications messages received sent and the message object itself then we have the mutation obviously so constant mutations which is again an object and then action which will be an object and then last is we need to export them so we have state mutations and actions 
we need to import that in our store dot js so import private store from where is it components message private message store okay and let's add this okay view was defined but never used that's fine i haven't defined the actions so um, the view is not used let us first define our uh, first action okay which will be user messages received so set set user messages received it's a normal call i won't pass anything to it let post data be blank and then return view dot http post and be a url and <coughs> then we will get the response which we are gonna do view dot logger dot okay logger this is something which i have created um just a simple no uh, class where i can log the information and then from environment variable i can switch it off nothing um, much uh, so once this is done i will need to commit to something which is set underscore let's say user pm no user received okay this will be response dot data no, it's body dot data okay now i need to pass the url obviously so config this i have to add a new url export constant let's name it get user private messages get user private which will be api domain plus api v1 let's look at our route get private messages so copy this paste it here okay and we need to import this from and file will be available as slash dot 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 config as far as i remember uh, let's check that config file saved mm, it says get user private messages is defined but never used which is okay i have to copy this and paste it here um, i'll send post data and i'll also need get header so how it's an object where headers and then i call the function get headers okay Let's, oh anyways i have not done any call to that object so let us quickly uh, <coughs> in our component we need to import a few things so the first is import map state okay once we have the map state what we need to do is game store state and once i have this i think then what i can do is this dot dollar store dispatch name of the function which is this and i should get the response right unknown oh sorry i don't have the mutation ready yet so quickly add the mutation state and the messages 
and this is going to be simple state dot messages received is going to be messages and I think that's what I am sending here yeah so hit refresh and I'm getting the response in the response I have body data array is zero which is kind of strange I should have received sender is one which means my call it is not returning anything get private messages hmm. nothing in response oh that's strange body data let me check the database again this is receiver id is 2 sender id is 1 which means i have sent it okay i think the query is receiver id right so we need to create one more php artisan tinker yeah um let me quickly do that the sender id will be let's say user 2 receiver id will be user 1 and i'm going to reply to the first message so so i created this and we should now get one response body data and yes we have the id the message right so our store is working let's quickly add some basic markup so that we can display the data okay so let me go to sublime and in here i'll have section and let me now copy paste the markup and then i will come back okay so here's the markup i have table with t body and inside this i have tr with a v4 message in pm store messages received i have a v bind class if the red status is zero then i'll add this class otherwise this which we are going to format later and then we have the td with message sender name and then we have the message subject created at and let's save it and we have this so foo has sent a message with subject i am fine which seems to be correct let us log in through foo and what was it pm inbox pms yes and he has an inbox message says how are you which was sent by me 10 hours ago so this is working fine in the next videos we are going to handle a sidebar we will create the you know individual view and you know move ahead with other functionalities thanks for watching guys continue with the series if you like the videos do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel